I have always wanted to be a nurse for as long as I can remember since I was a little girl. I always remember my granny asking me what I wanted to be and I would always say a nurse. Um, and I've now been nursing for 17 years. I enjoy providing quality care to patients. I enjoy coming in and talking to the patients, listening to them. It's a real privilege to be able to provide care to them. You know, some kindness, some laughter, care, which they may not experience anywhere else. Hello, my name is Angela Wallace and I'm the Nurse Director here in NHS Forth Valley. Today, I hope you will see that we care. Our nurses, our midwives, our healthcare support workers are the glue that keeps care and caring for people together 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. The gifts that our staff have are evident through the pieces that you will see today. They're authentic, they're caring, they're progressive. It's really rewarding at times as well, it's fast paced. We all work really well together and we get through those challenges as best we can. We help each other, we have a laugh with each other. It's really important to have that downtime, even during the day on the floor, if something terrible's happened, you just have to see the bright side of things and carry on. But at the end of the day, we are all really there for each other. We are a really tight knit team and everybody's really important in that team. I like to make a difference to the patients who are in prison. Our patients come from very different backgrounds and many of them have not engaged with healthcare before they come into prison. It makes our job very interesting that we can make a difference to these people's lives, engage them in healthcare and improve their quality of life and their lifestyle choices. Working as a nurse in a mental health unit can be challenging, it can be chaotic and at times stressful. However, it's also extremely rewarding. It's about being able to spend time with patients, offer individualised care, work with patients, putting together a plan of care that is reflective of their own strengths, their needs and their opinions. Working as a nurse, I love the opportunities to develop within the role and to benefit my career and also patient care. So you work closely with a family and one of the reasons it's difficult to describe what we do to people is because one of our main principles is to search out health needs. Our main focus is to support the well-being and development of a child. So we mainly review the adult's behaviours and the environment in which a child lives and then we um, tailor what we offer to them. So what's really important is having a strong team around you. Being able to go to peers and speak things through with them because they will understand some of the aspects and challenges that we face. During this pandemic, we've had new responsibilities around caring for people in care homes. This strength of us working together has seen infection control standards increase in care homes and the skill of people caring for people during a pandemic increase. That has meant that we have saw a stop to the loss of life and we've saw a much greater reduction in harm in relation to COVID in care home and homely settings. We are immensely proud of that and again our staff have stepped up to that and worked alongside the care home staff with absolutely non-negotiable respect for one another. We've put residents in care homes at the centre of everything we do. We've supported their loved ones to come safely and keep maintaining those all important family relationships. And our teams have built strong bonds with our care homes and indeed across the health and social care system. We have supported staff in care homes to creatively meet the challenges presented around restricted visiting and supported the staff around the use of PPE and sourcing the PPE in the early stages of the pandemic. We have changed our processes, the way we triage people, the way we see people and the way we treat people. And we just have to try and review the patients as best we can, give them best advice. Sometimes any is not the best place for them and they're unhappy about that. Well, during COVID, obviously, we've had to adhere to the government guidance and the birth partners have been restricted. We have normally two birth partners are allowed, but we've had to restrict that to one. And I think that's been very challenging for the women because obviously they need as much emotional support as we can give them. And I think that's where the midwife makes the difference. Our type of patients, they don't actually understand what's happening with COVID when they have COVID or they potentially have COVID until they, they get their result back being positive. They don't understand that they just stay in their rooms and they don't come out of their rooms. So we have to be creative and finding ways to keep them in their room. And that was one of the biggest challenges, whether it was their carers or other specialists that they go to, whether it's for activities or that. The things that you experience your patients going through, you can't help but be affected by that because we're all human at the end of the day. So the most important thing as a team is to collectively come together, reflect, be open, 
honest, talk about the things that are difficult. What we see is that we are giving people back their lives, a quality of life, their level of independence, and that is something that motivates each and every one of us within our team. We care for people, we care for our services, we care for one another, and we care across Forth Valley. Listening to the nurses and midwives, learning from things that we haven't got and done so well, and also building on the unique and fantastic change that's happened during COVID-19. And not being afraid, but being sure in the fact that they can care for people in whichever setting. And I have seen that every single day. All of us, myself, the Deputy Nurse Director, the Chief Midwife, and all of the Chief Nurses, to be at the heart of all of our care and services every day across Forth Valley. And everyone who supports the staff have stepped up to support and give cover to our staff and supporting them during these unprecedented times. Thank you to the nurses who have made this happen and I look forward to hearing of the further successes.